Before today's 4 p.m. deadline, the Ravens officially placed the franchise tag on Pro Bowl defensive tackle Justin Matabike, which means he'll be in Baltimore for at least one more season. So what's next? Now that the Ravens have placed the tag on Justin, they have until July 15th to work out an extension, and if no deal is reached by then, he'll play under the one-year franchise tag terms, and negotiations can resume after the 2024 season. General Manager Eric DaCosta stated, we were unable to agree on a contract extension with Justin before the deadline and will use the franchise tag. Justin is a great player and person, and we will continue to negotiate a long-term deal with him. Matabike had 13 sacks in 2023, which led all NFL defensive linemen and was the most by a Ravens player in nine years. He also tied an NFL record when he recorded at least half a sack in 11 straight games. So it's no surprise EDC wanted to keep Matabiste in Charm City. The Ravens used the non-exclusive tag on Justin, which has a price tag of $22.1 million for defensive tackles. So the Ravens will now have some work to do. They're roughly $11 million over the cap right now, so DaCosta will need to make some cost-cutting moves for Baltimore to be salary cap compliant by next Wednesday. However, if the Ravens and Matabike are able to come up with a deal, it would likely lower his salary cap hit, which would give Baltimore more flexibility to retain or bring in other free agents. The Ravens have now used the franchise tag on nine players, and they've reached deals with seven of those guys. So hopefully history can repeat itself here with BK. The good news is, with Justin back for 2024, Baltimore will have an all-pro player returning at all three levels of their defense. Matabike in the trenches, Roquan Smith at linebacker, and Kyle Hamilton in the secondary. So even though tough decisions will need to be made before the new league year begins next week, Baltimore's D-line could look relatively identical to last season. So at the end of the day, the Ravens frankly could not afford to lose a player like Matabike, who has improved every single season. So now it's time to sit back and watch EDC do what he does best. That's it for me today. We'll see you again tomorrow.